from your grace. Welcome to Recovery Radio, where we have hope for you today. When I was the lost soul searching, you were the ground beneath my feet. When I was the blind man begging, you were the eye so I could see. Well, good morning. Uh, welcome to Recovery Radio. Uh, Saturday morning. Uh, my name is Mike. I'm your host. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, another amazing show, another amazing day. Uh, you, you, the listeners out there, we hope you enjoy this program. It's in it, and it's a program all about you. So I'm, I'm going to lead with the phone number because it's yeah. real important. One eight hundred seven two one nine three one three, and the local number nine two eight eight five five nine one one zero. Well, my co-host John, good morning. Hey, good morning. Happy. Uh, what is it? Apollo. Moon landing, landing anniversary. anniversary. Yes. anniversary. Yeah. Yeah, that's just that's amazing. Yeah. I was uh Bill and I were talking about this earlier. I was amazing uh four years old. Bill was two and, and he have. and he remembers it. I was I think I was seven. You're, yeah, I was. I you were was, seven. I was seven. Wow. So we know we know he's the, the old, older guy. He's, he's the old part. Yeah, he's uh, the old okay. one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still I still act like a teenager though. So I'm, I'm not growing up. Although the body is uh, yeah, telling yeah. me, oh yeah, we're growing up. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. It, yeah. Yeah, everything's so, falling apart. It is. That's right. Yeah. You know, I, I, I you talk to a lot of people and they say the golden years. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the golden years are long <laughs> behind me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so quite the challenge. Well, yeah. uh, you know, good morning to everyone out there. Um, we've got a uh, we've got a great show for you today. We've got uh, special guests. Actually, we've got a couple of them. A couple mm -hmm. of the ladies within the studio. Yeah. Um, shout out to Miss Debbie, who's mm -hmm. just feeling under the weather today. Mm -hmm. She's supposed yeah. to be with us, and she's been working real, real, real hard. And, yeah. and so we wish her. Um, mm -hmm. The um, uh, a blessing to mm -hmm. quick recovery, uh, to quick get recovery, better, and, to get better and feel better, and, mm -hmm. and to yes. rest. Yeah. You know, yeah. Right? We exactly. wear our bodies down, and we go 100 miles an hour a lot mm -hmm. of times. But she we sure have does. to remember that mm -hmm. uh, we got to take a little bit of a break. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, why don't you lead us in prayer this oh, morning? Sure John? thing. Sure thing. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you so much again that we can come together and glorify you and praise you. Lord, I just uh, pray you bless us and lay your hand on this show that we can reach those who are in need of some encouragement and some help, um, that we are here for them and that uh, we can guide them to you and to that peace you give us. In your prayer, amen. 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 Right, we thank you. Thank you for our sponsors today, uh, John. Tell us uh, yeah. about our sponsors. Okay, we got Ohana Poke Bowl there oh, at yeah. thirty-two sixty-nine Maricopa Avenue. Yes, <laughs> I always get hungry when I say that. I don't know why that is. I can be full, but I'll get hungry when I say their name. <laughs> but they're bringing authentic Hawaiian poke bowl and Hawaiian foods to you. We also have Ace Pest Control, serving twenty years in Lake Havasu area. You can be reached at 928-680-0988 or at acepestcontrolaz.com. And then we have the boys down at Sunshine RV, 2995 Maricopa Avenue. They have experienced sales and service at its best. Go check out uh, Sunshine RV with Kyle and the boys. And they're at 928-855-6648. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, we thank you for that. Thank you, John. Mm -hmm. uh, we have... Um, uh, callers, listen. If you call in, mm -hmm. you um, you get in the drawing for a shirt, a recovery yeah. radio shirt, or a hat. Yes, and uh, they're both uh, nice, real nice items, and they're <laughs> provided by Hilltop yeah. Community Church here yeah. in Lake Havasu City. We're very thankful for right. their support mm -hmm. and uh, also sponsorship. Yes, I, I want to tell you that Recovery Radio is all about anything that you struggle with. Right, anything. Um, so this is, this show is about you. It's it's not about us. It's about you and and what God can do in your life to make those changes. And we know there are, there are thousands and thousands of people who right now are listening to this and mm -hmm. who are challenged with a struggle, uh, mm -hmm. maybe a family member trying to deal with something or or a hurt or a loss or mm -hmm. so many so many different things. Maybe going through a divorce or right. struggle and in um, you know loss of a, a mm -hmm. child or, there's just so many things that that we need each other for right john it's yeah, so exactly. important right it is very important yeah. you know even um in the bible ecclesiastes 4 9 to 10 it talks about where two people are better than one for they can help each other succeed if one person falls the other can reach out and help but someone who falls alone 
is in real trouble. And that's what we're here for. We're here to hold each other up and to help everybody out there um, with that whatever whatever hang up, hurt, whatever you've got going on in your life. If you need some help, we wish you could just call us, really. at uh, I'll give you the numbers again, uh, 800-721-9313. And locally, 928-855-9110. And uh, when you call us, we have um, lots of resources where you can get you plugged in and get you help uh, in your local areas as well, wherever you're at. Um, so if you need some help, some guidance, anything, we're here for you. Give us a call. And uh, one of the things I wanted to mention also is, you know, we're here to help, but we're not here to fix anyone. We, we yes. don't have that kind of power. We don't. Uh, you know, but coming together with uh, Jesus as our guide, you know, he can provide the healing. He can provide the guidance in your life. And, and that's what we're focused on yeah. is on Christ Amen. and what he can do for us. Because you can't Amen. do anything on your own at all. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we surely can't. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, today um, we're, uh, we're we're very thankful we have our, our producer, Miss Pat. Yeah. Uh, with us this morning. Uh, good morning, Miss Pat. Good morning, everyone. Hey. How's everyone this morning? Good. Wonderful. How are you? Wonderful. I'm. I. I. I just am holding Miss Debbie up in prayer this yeah. morning, and our Amen. own Robert this mm -hmm. morning. Yes. So many just feel under the weather. Yeah. It's this. It's a little bit of wind, and it makes yeah. people just a little bit crazy. And I, I know our listening audience is is, is really curious. Mm -hmm. I know I am. Mm -hmm. We all talked about the moon landing and how old we were. Mm. We just really wanted it. Oh, how mama, old mama Pat was on that. How, how I, I don't, what, oh, it was boy. 19, what year? 1969. Not, not a good start. To good. Interview, folks. I think I was about 25 years old. I'm, wow. I, I have no problem saying that I'm a glorious yeah. 75 years old in the Amen. Lord. Amen. And, um, she's any, 75, but she's not 75. Oh, I look no. at mama Pat as she's in her 30s or yeah. something, but she's, she's, she has more energy and more more umph, more umpha, whatever they call that word. Oompa, that, yeah, oompa, I, and then no yeah, idea. than I do sometimes. She can run me right into the ground. Well, she is so full of energy. Has <laughs> nothing to do with me. Has to do with the Lord. So I'd like to maybe mm -hmm. talk to some of those seniors out there for a mm -hmm. minute. Um, I don't really consider myself a senior. I consider myself just a kid of the Lord's, mm -hmm. just doing whatever He wants me to do today. Amen. Whatever He wants me to do tomorrow, that's what I'll do. That's it. So that's how it goes. We have mm -hmm. to get up and get moving. Mm -hmm. Get up and what are the what's that song? Move it, move it. You yeah, know, you like, got to move it, move it. <laughs> move there it. you yes. go. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Madagascar? It anyway? is Madagascar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love those guys. King yeah. Julian. Yes, yeah. you got to move it, move it. Yeah. That okay. was it. Well, there goes our singing skills. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they don't. The you know that they don't allow myself or Mike, either one, to sing in church or at oh, any that's meetings. Not true. Oh, no, no, it's true. <laughs> no, they, they shut me. They cut my microphone right off. Yes. Amen. Like, oh, no. <laughs> and we're so grateful. Yes. So. <laughs> oh boy. But I want to start off this morning. Besides Miss Debbie and Debbie and our crew, there's a couple people I want to say hey to. We have someone on the line. And D, I'm going to ask you just to hold a little while. If you'll just yeah. hang in there and hold, we're going to okay. get to you. Okay. And. Okay, no, or gonna... maybe not. Maybe she. Maybe we'll just pray with her in a little while. Okay, um, because okay, I'm looking through the window. People are giving me sign language, um, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure I understand. I think she's not on the line. Oh, she's, she's not on the line. Okay. She just has a okay. prayer request. All right, request. all right. Well, we're gonna we'll, we'll pray for that, Miss uh, Miss D. I promise. But I want to give a shout out to my buddy Aaron, mm -hmm. who's listening to us over in St. John's. Aaron, hi, and to all of your prison mates who are there Amen. with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. God bless you guys. Yeah, we're so you know we're so thankful. Aaron, uh, Aaron's a good friend, and mm -hmm. and we miss him and love him. And and listen, sometimes uh, God just uh, hits us over the head with a two by four because mm -hmm. we're too busy doing our own thing and creating a dangerous atmosphere for ourselves. And right. and He actually protects us, doesn't He? Mm -hmm. Yes, He does. And He puts us in a place mm -hmm. where He can do some mighty, mm -hmm. mighty work. You know, uh, Pat yeah. and I, we were talking talking about uh, the uh, Paul always being in prison oh, and, yeah. and what he went through, but mm -hmm. he did some of his greatest writing oh, and did. works in the peace and the quiet yeah. and the stillness, right. just right with God. That's it. In the peace. Exactly. And then when he was out, he got to march and he was mm -hmm. uh, tied up again in a mm -hmm. few places and look at what he did for exactly. Christ. So. Yeah. He put him in those places for a reason, and he knew it. That's right. You know, it's like everything is for him, and you got to figure out what he wants. So That's why right. why are you in that situation you're in? Yeah. There's a reason for it. Yeah, and, and the and more you fight it, yeah. the worse oh, off you oh are. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I always say, John, surrender to win. Mm -hmm. So when you surrender, 
uh, and and uh, g- give it up to God. Yeah. He, he just continues to wrap his arms around you Excellent. and guide you and show you and teach you. And it, it is by far the best place. Oh, I yeah. ran from that for yeah. 32 years. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, well, you can there. run from God. You can try to hide from God, but there's nothing he doesn't mm-hmm. see. No. Yeah. And you know, he went, if, if today the world was what it was and he came today, he'd still die for us. Oh, we know yes, that. We would. know he died yes, for he us. He, we know that. Mm-hmm. We know that those prisoners that are sitting there listening to this radio, listening mm-hmm. to this recovery radio on that little uh, portable radio that Aaron has, we just want to say welcome. Yeah. Um, Aaron, I got your letter. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. I've shared it with many. We just want you to know that you men and women out there in prisons, you're not forgotten. Mm-hmm. No. We have not forgotten you, mm-hmm. and we will continue to pray for you. Mm-hmm. A couple of weeks ago, if you guys will remember, I sat in this chair, and I was about to give this little talk to you guys mm-hmm. about what people are always asking me. Do you remember that, John? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Because... What's happened in my life, Mike, is that people say to me, why are you the way you are? How did you get to be where this is? Mm -hmm. What's going on? And I have to kind of sit back and I really have to thank my mom. Mm. And I told you a little bit about her a couple weeks ago that she just absolutely hated my guts. There was nothing about me that she liked. Mm. I was the third girl. And when I was born on my first birth certificate, it said Patrick Anthony. Hmm. Oh. And they wow. actually yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, thanks. Hmm. <laughs> and they actually changed it to Patricia Ann, but um and that's what one of my aunts told me one time. Wow. So I suppose it's true. Hmm. But my mother really hated me uh to the point where she shoved me away in what was in those days an orphanage. But years later we were reconciled. Mm-hmm. And at this point, I was growing up and living in my mom's house with my brothers and sisters and my wonderful stepdad, Bob, who I just Mm. absolutely loved. He was sort of my rock, although he wasn't really much allowed to talk to us or interact because Mm. of my mother's, Mm -hmm. my mother being my mother. But my mom hated me. She hated me so much that she'd send me off, Hmm. off into the community. God bless her heart. She had no idea she was doing God's. Mm -hmm. perfect will and she sent me to a little place called (gasps) vacation bible school Ah, vbs Ah. so all of you out there that know what vbs is that's where you learn a little bit about god's word Mm -hmm. and that week we learned and we learned and we learned now growing up i had i was not allowed to have any possessions whatsoever Mm -hmm. not toys nothing i was not allowed Hmm. so but if you could learn all of the books of the Bible in order, Hmm. all 52 of them, Hmm. and 100 Bible verses by heart, they would give you a Bible. Wow. I earned that Bible. Oh, I, I and seventy years, seventy years later, yeah. I I still have you it. Still, wow! So so cool. <laughs> and in that little Bible, my little vacation Bible teacher, who I don't even remember, but I see her name written there, yeah. pulled me up on her lap one day because I wanted to know about this Jesus, mm. and she presented the gospel to me, wow. and I accepted Christ as my Savior, June. 25th 1952 wow a lot older than anybody in yeah. this studio <laughs> including my husband who's in the other room yeah. <laughs> but from that day to this hmm. i accepted christ i walked with christ and yeah i did a lot of goofy things as a teenager hmm. and whatever you know yeah. i went my own way right but most of the most of my life i have stuck close to god mm-hmm. and i've been very blessed that way hmm. so I kind of grew from there, grew up and got married and had kids and you know we had about a million foster kids from right. time to time. Yep. Our house was always full of stuff. Yeah. I made my own bread and canned my own food. There okay, you, you people out there, that's when you go to the stove. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but get all that yeah. stuff. And then along around when I was about 30, something else happened in my life. What I had learned to do up until then because of just being ignored. I didn't really talk at home either. I I didn't. I didn't hardly said spoke. So I learned to listen. And that's what you all know in this studio Mm -hmm. that when we're one on one, that's what God's that's part of what I do is my ministry is I listen. And the Lord had given me this scripture. It's Isaiah 50 verse four. Mm. The sovereign Lord has given to me the words of wisdom that I might know how to comfort those who are weary. 
Mm. I didn't have to get the degree on the wall. I got yeah. a few, but I didn't have yeah. to. I didn't have to get this or that. I was, my, my Heavenly Father gave me the degree. Oh, and so I learned to listen. And one of my best buddies when I was around 30 was my sister-in-law, Larie. A mm. wonderful lady. I love Larie. Little tiny lady. But unfortunately, years before, about 20 years before, mm. she had been in a hunting accident where her ex-husband shot a deer and missed, I guess, and he rode off on his horse after the deer, and her horse bucked up, and when he bucked off, she fell off and fell underneath of him, and her spine was crushed, mm. and the horse died, and the husband didn't come back for eight hours. Oh. So Larie, from that day forward, drug herself around on these crutches and in wheelchairs but i loved her and she loved the lord mm. and we and then eventually she married my husband's brother and it was oh, all wow. wonderful <laughs> and so both both my husband and and my brother-in-law bill were truck drivers in those days and they were off on the road and larie and i would spend time together and she was always helping me with my young uns and such a wonderful woman so this one day larie said well i got to go to the hospital it's time for my yearly checkup mm -hmm. so off she went yeah. She went to the hospital, yeah. and when she was in there, you know, whatever, we, we, we prayed because just 20 days before that, we had lost Tom's dad, mm -hmm. our, our, our mutual father-in-law, mm -hmm. and we loved him, and we were both pretty sad about that, but we were praying and whatever, and Larissa said her test came out good, everything's mm -hmm. okie doke, and she went home, and um, the next day we talked on the phone, and we said the Lord's Prayer, and I remember the last thing I said to her that day was the 23rd Psalm, and mm -hmm. we just sang a song, and we hung up up and she could sing I couldn't Mike you're right you're looking Mike's going you sang yeah right no. <laughs> and uh, I went about my day and Larie went about her day and the next day I got a call that Larie had gone into their spare bedroom mm -hmm. taken her two crutches made them the sign of the cross and shot and killed herself mm -hmm. it wasn't until a couple weeks later that I found out that uh, she had had another devastating um, report from the doctor wow. and it was going to be a very slow and agonizing death for her mm. Larie had already suffered for about 20 some years and mm. my precious little Larie couldn't take anymore mm. well something happened to me that day because I had no idea right. I thought what did I miss Mm -hmm. I hit my knees. I said, God, God, wait, mm -hmm. wait, this is Larie. What have I missed? What did I do wrong? Why didn't I see this? Mm -hmm. This was my sister in Christ. Mm -hmm. And I loved her. Mm -hmm. And I wept at his throne. And I threw myself on the ground. And I cried and I cried. Now, boys and girls, there was no crisis lines in those days. Mm. There was no Oprah or Dr. Phil. There wasn't even, you mm. know, anything on TV. There weren't books in the library. There was nothing mm -hmm. that prepared me for having my friend commit suicide. And I thought, Lord, surely I missed something. Mm. So that day was the day that I thought, I never want to miss something again. And I asked God, prepare me now, God, mm. for what it is you have me to do in my life. Right. And I knew it wasn't just listening. From that day to this, I studied the human mind, the human mm. nature. You know, I went on to be 35 years in the mental mm. health field. You know, right. I right. went on to do many things in that field, but always knowing that I that what Satan meant mm -hmm. for evil, oh, yeah. which was Larie committing suicide, God used for good. Right. We know that that's what the scripture says. Right. We know that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, wow. you know, um, tragic. Yeah. When when somebody leaves, when mm -hmm. somebody commits suicide, and mm -hmm. I've dealt with quite a few of them right. lately, and, and it's become almost a, an epidemic. Mm -hmm. Well, it is. It is. I, I talked to a funeral director the, the other day, and mm -hmm. she said that it, it's an epidemic. Mm -hmm. And we know that it's, um, it's, it's a sad topic. It's a it really is. challenging subject, mm -hmm. but it's reality, and it's happening. And uh, um, Pat's experienced... Uh, much of that world within the right. mental health world mm -hmm. uh, Pat so you've mm -hmm. you've seen and and, mm -hmm. and done a lot and, right. and experienced a lot mm -hmm. and and you the listener may have 
absolutely uh, the same the same experience that Pat went through mm -hmm. no understanding blaming yourself mm -hmm. right. what mm -hmm. did I miss what mm -hmm. did I do what, mm -hmm. how come I couldn't help uh, and uh, and it leaves us um, sometimes very empty and confused and void and and it's a dark spot in our life and it I'm does. sure so many people that's right but don't let that get it. don't let that get you down yeah. you can, you know that whatever mm -hmm. Satan because Satan hates us <clears throat> Satan hates Jesus yes. yeah. doesn't like me very much at all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna tell yeah. you what what Satan meant for evil God used for good right. over my over my lifetime in, in working for CCYFC which is California Child Youth and Family Coalition try mm -hmm. to say that five times in a row quickly mm -hmm. They take about 8,000 calls a month. Well, I had a privilege of working there for a while, and we took thousands of calls of suicide, and mm -hmm. they're, they're mostly young people. But I've taken calls over the years. I've, I've talked people down off ledges mm -hmm. and with people with guns in their mouths and wow. where they're going to drop their baby off of mm -hmm. a three-story building and kill themselves as well. Mm -hmm. So here's what I want you to listen to me, listener. If you're thinking about suicide don't do it mm. I'm gonna tell you why because God loves you and you might think in your heart of hearts well no he doesn't cuz I'm a piece of dirt well I'm telling you right now you're not mm -hmm. God made you and you are wonderfully made mm -hmm. and somebody out there who you think your brother sister friend aunt uncle maybe you have someone in your life but I'm gonna tell you something mm -hmm. if you're fr if they're if you're thinking that they're thinking about suicide don't be afraid to say you think you are you going to kill yourself mm. are you going to kill yourself mm. is that what you're thinking about and talk to them and mm. go on get get a crisis line number mm -hmm. call a crisis line call this show and call this station call this station right now 1-800-721-9313 or mm -hmm. or call 928-855-9 and, and we do have a caller on the line, line one. Good Oops. morning, Recovery Radio. Uh, Mindy? Hi. Hey, hey Mindy. hi, Mindy. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good, good to hear your voice. We know uh, you're calling from New York today. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Pat is um, talking about family and life today, and it just made me think I'd love to call in and and uh, maybe get some prayer even mm. from yes. you guys. Oh, we yes. would love to pray for you. Mindy, what, you, what, what is it that you would like prayer for today? Well, you know, um, I have a, the family is pretty dysfunctional, and I myself have been in recovery for several years. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And, Good for um, you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have a, a brother who's an alcoholic, and mm -hmm. and and there's just a lot of, dysfunction happening right now and I've always been that middle peacemaker person yeah. okay. well here's and what I, I listen to ahead. Me, listen to me for a minute because what I heard in your voice was that you're a peacemaker and you're in the middle of it step back step back sister mm -hmm. get on your knees and let God do this I'm serious yeah. I feel it in my spirit M Mindy does that does that resonate with you that for a minute yeah. you can mm -hmm. step back and you can just get on your knees you don't have to do this Right. Nothing you can do, right. but God knows mm -hmm. what can be done. God has a plan for this whole family. I want you to stop worrying and start praying. Instead of, instead of us stirring it up and thinking about right. it over and over and over, just stop. Get on your knees. Just be mm -hmm. there. We also we want to pray for Mindy right now, but we also want to pray for Dee. Mm -hmm. These are two sisters that have called, mm -hmm. so I'm going to let you guys pray for a minute. I, I've got to leave the studio and go out and take a call out there, but let me, before I go, I want you to know that God loves you, that they're... That Toward, I want you. I want you to hear the end of this story for mm. one minute. Stay on the okay. line. Stay on the line. I want you to okay. hear this because then I'm going to go, Mindy. I'm telling you this for my heart. My mother was 73 years old and dying in her hospital bed, and my sister Martha Lou went in there, and she. My mother sat up in bed for the first time because she'd been in a wheelchair for years. She sat up, and from my mother's heart, she said, "Martha Lou, did you see those men in those white coats?" And my sister said, "You mean the doctors?" And Martha's and mother said, no, I mean those men with those long white robes. They said, although your sins, 
be red as scarlet. They can be washed white as snow if you will receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Can you imagine? Here's my mother in, on her deathbed, and I'd been praying for her all of my life. And my sister Martha had become a Christian, and she was praying as well. Martha ran to the phone and called me and told me that story. And I said, Martha, run back and kiss her goodbye. Don't you know what this means? Because Mother told right. her that she said yes, and she accepted Christ. Oh, so there you go. Amen. My mother, I, and here's the thing. I never even got to see her as a Christian on this earth. But guess what? I'm going to meet her in heaven. Hallelujah. Right. I'm going to let you guys pray and god right. bless you all amen thank you oh it's a wonderful story that's just great amen. hey mindy i'm gonna pray for you right now okay thank you okay dear heavenly father we just lift mindy up to you you know she's uh going through what a lot of us go through with our families um they can be quite challenging at times and a little dysfunctional um lord you know that she is a peacemaker at heart and she wants everybody to get along but just Bring her the peace that you have got control of the situation and that all she needs to do is lift it up to you and not try to step in and try not to try to make peace with everybody, but just give it to you that you are the supreme peacemaker and that you will guide her family to where they need to be and, and give them rest in you, Lord. And just pray for Mindy's heart that um, she'll be able to do that and she will be able to uh, turn everything over to you and not try to take control of the situation and uh, bring everybody to an agreement on anything, but it's all in your hands that you could do that, Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 And we also, Thank we you. want to. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mindy. Thanks, Thanks Mindy. For calling in. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Okay. Have, okay. Have well, a Michael, you have a good time on your service <laughs> tomorrow, and we'll miss you and see you later. Love you. Love you, okay, Pete. Pete. Love you, Pete. Thank you. Talk to you later, Pete. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you so much. You know, that's what it's all about, John. Yes. It's all about, it's all about prayer and mm -hmm. praying for one another and, and, and gathering together. And, and uh, you know, that mm -hmm. goes coincide with a person uh, that pat just talked right. about uh, someone thinking about suicide or going through a hard time or anything else um yeah you know it's challenging and struggling so you you got to come alongside uh people and and talk to them and love on them uh, because the devil wants them dead and gone and everything else so uh it's really uh it's really quite challenging so uh, we, also have to, we also have to pray for uh, D. For D. Yeah, right, for let's D. Uh, let's lift her up. Yeah, and I was going to have um, <laughs> Glow, if she, if she could. I would, I'd love to have her uh, lift uh, D up in prayer. Would... Awesome. Okay. okay, Lord, we bring you D. She's coming to you and asking for, her, for, for your help. We know that you are a mighty God mm -hmm. and that you can change all situations. Mm -hmm if we just give you our mm. will. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is give our, our will up to you, Lord. Mm. We are powerless, but with you, we can conquer anything. Mm. We can move mountains with our faith. Lord, I lift up Dee to you, and I lift her up to you because you are mighty, mm. and you have shed your blood so that we don't have to. Mm. Lord, bless her heart. Bring her to her knees. Give her joy in her heart. Mm -hmm. And in this I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so yes. much, Claude. Thank, Thank you. you. And Dee, we're here for you. If you need anything, just give us a call back. We'd love to talk to you some more if you need it. Yes, again, that number, 1-800-721-9313. And the local number, 928-855-9110. You know, I, I remember uh, the end of my uh, 32 years, uh, John, I was living mm -hmm. in... Um, Living in my car, uh, everyone pretty much had given up on me except for uh, my mom with a, a, a lot of prayer for a long time. <clears throat> but I just wasn't willing to make the change or uh, look at um, another outlet other mm -hmm. than trying to fix myself yeah. over and over in that challenge of the, you know, uh, the recycler, mm -hmm. just back and forth and back oh, and forth yeah. and never being able to fix myself. And, mm -hmm. you know, finally you give up and mm -hmm. and you get to that point. And 
I remember uh, the last two weeks. That's all I thought about was I can't do this anymore. I just it's time to check out. I just I can't do mm-hmm. it anymore. Yeah. And that hopelessness. I remember that feeling. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's it's pretty dark. It's exactly what the devil wants you to do. Oh yeah. But if you're willing to try one more thing mm-hmm. uh, before you go check out, right. um, it's the experience of real fellowship, mm-hmm. real people that come alongside of you that right. actually care about you. Mm-hmm. The world is going to just step on you, beat mm-hmm. you up, and tell you, oh, just get mm-hmm. over it. Yeah. You know, or you're and weak. His, his words are so enticing. Yeah. I, it's just, he wants you isolated, he wants you by yourself. Mm-hmm. And then you just, you're, when you're by yourself, those thoughts, that's all you have is what's going on in your head and he is talking loudly mm. you know in your head you, I mean just think about it go back to the garden they had everything they were walking with God in the dew of the morning everything was peaceful everything was great you talk about a utopia it was perfect perfect so you think okay how could anybody get someone to turn away from a perfect world mm. so just Satan did it yeah, he did it. So how can he do that? He did that with them. Yes. Now we're we're living in that fallen world. We're living with the pain and anguish of of all the stuff that's gone on. So it's it's an easier for him now because mm. now you're living in the world that's fallen that he had that he brought to himself that he had fall, yeah. and so he he gets you alone. How how simple is it to just convince you in your mind that you know he. We're, it's just one of those things. We are made in the image of God. Hmm. You know, we're a direct reflection of him. So you ask, well, why would Satan want me destroyed? That's why. Yeah. We are in the image of God. He wants you destroyed. He wants you gone. He doesn't want, he has no desire to have any type of relationship with you whatsoever. And the more people he gets, the less people God gets. Yeah. He it's just a big game for him. He doesn't want us on the air. He no. doesn't want us oh, to no. be telling other people, hey, there's yeah. hope. Yeah. Uh, right? No, he doesn't want that it's at all. It's just the opposite for yeah. him. He's... He wants us worthless. He wants us to feel as low as we can get yeah. because that he wins. Mm-hmm. He wins. You know, that little bit of hope and that little bit of faith as a mustard seed, I tell you what, that yeah. faith seems yeah. so big, yeah. but yet so little. That's yeah. it. And it doesn't take much, you know. It doesn't. Yeah. I, I had overcome so much in my past that, you know, that's the one thing I held with me, homeless, drug addict alcoholic you name it mm-hmm. i always remembered my grandmother tpn ptl seminar mm-hmm. club pray yeah. me up i was runaway everything and i could you know no matter what it always it always showed me all i needed was the hope and the faith of a mustard seed yeah mm-hmm. and you know it. if it wasn't for that i wouldn't be here today because mm-hmm. i know i'd be six mm-hmm. foot under but oh, you yeah. know i'm good i'm good at one thing and that's case casting satan out because yes. he don't belong yeah. here and yeah. um, i've done that twice this morning mm-hmm. you know and yeah uh, you have <laughs> i it, it does it, it overwhelms me but i'm so grateful that um i walk my walk mm-hmm. and i talk my talk and mm-hmm. i'm able to do that for others mm-hmm. um, right yeah. when i couldn't do it for myself yeah. before so yeah exactly it's an awesome thing to be here better together awesome. exactly amen. right yeah, amen better together yeah. we need each other we're yeah. made relational mm-hmm. and we got to have each other yep. we got to have this radio program mm-hmm. to be able to uh, um uh, make ourselves uh, a piece of glass so that mm-hmm. you can see that uh, and how f- flawed and how messed up we mm-hmm. we we messed up things yeah. and and yet god loves us and yeah. and guides us and and cleans us off if yeah. we're willing to uh yeah. to give that to him yep and he, he says it right in there he said come as you are yes Amen. you know you don't have to be perfect to be um get plugged into uh any any type of uh place uh, especially church you know a lot of people think well i've got to get my act cleaned up before i go to church or i can't go there because of where i'm at it's like no no yeah, no, no i hear that I all the time yeah don't you? just no, no. just yeah oh, just I like those christian bad girls i yeah. know i know yeah. come as you are well, you know come you, as you are it doesn't matter how you mm-hmm. dress come the, you know, bring the body, the rest will follow. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. it. Amen. Just show up, get yeah. plugged in, yeah. let people love on you, open up to them, talk to them. Yeah, and and, and you'll you'll get the healing you need. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, we go through so much, and mm-hmm. and then we think uh, uh, the devil just knocks us down with self worth, and mm-hmm. no one will understand. No mm-hmm. one's been in my shoes. No, no one's yeah. no one's gonna like me. I can't tell mm-hmm. them the truth or the mm-hmm. story that you know I've mm-hmm. done bad things, or been in bad places. Mm-hmm. And, 
and you just listen the bible is full of characters yeah. i talk about it all the time oh, yeah. the, i mean the 12 that he started his church with were mm. Mm. um yeah uh, uh, ragtag oh my just, gosh yeah. you know tax, uh, yeah you had a unique. bunch you had everything from Challenged. the fishermen the tax oh, the tax oh, collector oh, yeah. the doctor oh. i mean it was just all over it, it was yeah it so was it's what a gamut oh yeah so definitely and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you're no different out there yeah. I, i'm telling you uh you can uh mm -hmm. first of all just give your stuff yeah give your stuff up to, you, you really can and, mm -hmm. and you can test god right he says that yeah so if you're out there today, mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're challenged. Mm -hmm. You've got family issues, as Mindy is. If you're the, the the peacemaker in between all the chaos, maybe for you, you just need to uh, just step back and yeah. let God intervene and mm -hmm. let God take care of that because we don't have the power. It right. wears us down too oh, much yeah. to try and please and fix everybody mm -hmm. and and and. Um, uh, fix all the problems and be the glue and mm -hmm. and on and on all it does is just uh, it Wears distracts down. you and takes yeah. your time and that's what the devil wants he yep. wants you to wear down and wear mm -hmm. down and wear down and mm -hmm. so uh, uh you just back up and and you pray and and let mm -hmm. god he yeah. knows what's going on he sees everything right so let him take care of the mm -hmm. issues and the challenges of the day Exactly. Tomorrow's a whole nother day. Right. Being a woman of recovery, um, and all of, and men too, uh, we learn to have a toolbox. And sometimes we forget to open that toolbox. But mm -hmm. that toolbox serves for a reason. I know one of the things that's in my toolbox is the celebration station. Oh, yeah. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it hits home. Mm -hmm. There's times I can't sit there and read, but I tell you what, I get a lot into listening. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes we have to sit back and we have to listen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's one of the greatest things. God's everywhere is if you open oh, yeah. your ears. Yeah, he is. Yeah. In the, he is. In the words of the music. Yes. Right? Definitely. Yeah, we're thankful. Yeah, this, this station is definitely uh, a blessing. Yes. It really is. It was, I, I mentioned that before. It was very instrumental in, in my walk and coming back to God as a, as a prodigal child. You know, I, I, was a, I accepted Christ at a young age and was a follower, but the, uh, the world enticed me and uh, pulled me away. And I started thinking, I can find fulfillment in the world. I can find fulfillment in a relationship. I can find fulfillment in anything else but God. Mm -hmm. And I did. I pulled away. I walked away from him for years. Years. It wasn't until my mid-40s that he cast me up here to Havasu, into this area. And um, that's when I heard this radio station for the you first time. Make your time. mess into a message. Uh-huh. <laughs> I started listening to that every day um, on my way into work and on my way home. I'd always listen to Miss Debbie with the Treehouse One coming home. I'd usually listen to Bill in the morning going into work. You know, so I, I started to know them just from listening. And that just really opened my eyes um, and had my heart start to soften to let God back in again and finally realize that that's what I'm missing. It's not anything in this world that I can find. It wasn't going to be in a girl. It wasn't going to be in a relationship. It wasn't going to be at the bottom of a bottle. Mm. It was going to be with him. And where you least and, expected it. And it, where I least expected it. And it was just, it was like going, it was, it was the whole story of the prodigal son. When I look at that, it's like that just, after, now when I hear that, it's like that is so what I did. Mm. And so many people do that. You, you're raised as a child because your parents will introduce you to it or you'll, you'll get involved. But there's always that, well, I never experienced this. I never experienced that. And you start to look at the world as, oh, maybe this is, maybe this, maybe this, maybe this. And it just, it's Satan. He yes. just pulls you away and he slowly whittles you down and says, hey, you can find fulfillment in this. Hey, why don't you do this? Hey, you know, okay, well, that didn't fill you up. But maybe if you take it to the next step, it's always the next step. And your next thing you know, you're Cut. laying in a gutter. You're looking at the end of a barrel of a gun, because that's what he does. Yep. He isolates you, wears you down, and you're just you get emptier and emptier and emptier. Yeah, and yeah, it's just that's right, John. And, yeah. You know that's what the that's what the world will do to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the busyness. The, yes. The, mm -hmm. uh, you can get information in about four seconds, and mm -hmm. the pace has never been faster. I think yeah. in, in time. Communication mm -hmm. and and uh, 
we're so attached to electronics and mm-hmm. different devices and and it captures our our time yeah and uh it it uh kind of sidelines us it's busyness you know the busyness yeah. yes it's a it's a huge distraction mm-hmm. um so sometimes uh i i know for me my favorite time is first thing in the morning with mm-hmm. a cup of coffee and my yep. wife and yeah and and we read some devotionals mm-hmm. and it's it's the most peaceful time mm-hmm. of of the day for yeah. me and uh it's yeah. important to just uh, be plugged in and ask for guidance and help of of mm-hmm. the day yeah sometimes moment by moment mm-hmm. right as yeah. the serenity i love that says, time yeah i love that time in the morning moment. oh yeah. man yeah because my wife and i do that too we'll do you know in the morning and it's sometimes it's hard because i'm sitting there and my mind is already busy with the distractions on the of day, the day. Yeah. and i'm trying to focus on you know we're doing a devotional or reading scripture together and she'll be reading it and i'm like really struggling to keep my mind focused on that because satan has just had me go a thousand different places at once yeah yeah it's, it's hard yeah. but but then you because you don't want it to end then then you get involved with the word and you're with your wife and it's peaceful in the morning and you're like well i don't want to go to work now because yes. i want to stay home and just read god's word and spend it with her yeah so it's it's a struggle yeah. it's hard it's not Amen. the easiest thing in the world but it's Amen. nice that's right it's often as long as along the way yeah <laughs> hey if you're listening our phone number is 1-800-721-9313 we would love to hear from you mm-hmm. uh, maybe in the phoenix area uh, our listeners there uh, yeah we'd love to hear mm-hmm. uh, and pray for you we're so we're so thankful you know this uh, like i said in the beginning john this is yeah. uh, this is your radio station mm-hmm. out there uh, yeah. it's your music connection it's mm-hmm. your word connection yeah uh, and uh, you and know this, this is sh- your time this to, show is yeah. no different and this is your time to get help Yes. right now yes. you can call us you don't necessarily have to go on the air but just yeah. call us we have the resources here we have people on the phone standing by they can help you they can point you in the right direction they can get you plugged in um, to get whatever whatever is affecting you in your life right now they, we can give you help and, yeah. and get you pointed in the right sometimes way sometimes the hardest thing to do is to pick up that phone oh yeah you know get a number mm-hmm. you know, find out where there's a meeting you know I, I do a lot of different meetings but that's what keeps me in my yeah. recovery you know I don't I'm not just a drug addict or alcoholic I have life issues oh, oh life yeah. issues and, you know I, and you know I, I told yeah. a judge a couple of weeks ago you know uh, we have life issues don't we all and he asked me to leave the the bench but you know oh. i thought that was cool you know yeah. I, I must have stumped him you know because you know a lot mm-hmm. of people don't think hey i got life issues mm-hmm. but you know if we can get rid of our life issues and give them up to god mm-hmm. our life is so simple yeah the yeah. backpack gets lighter and lighter it does, when we pull them out and say, i okay, could not listen to it. sound i was beaten ahead by you know some girls when i was 18 mm-hmm. with four by fours and um it didn't do brain damage but it did damage to my my hearing mm-hmm. my hearing was so amplified that i couldn't stand my own children when they were born screaming or mm-hmm. talking or mumbling or whispering it was mm-hmm. all amplified and my great grandmother were was hard of hearing and was supposed to wear a hearing aid and didn't so she yelled all the time so mm-hmm. my head was always with migraines i've had migraines right. for 40 plus years right. um i tell you um mm-hmm. what little did i know i was going to be healed of that and uh mm-hmm. through the station i was i was an introvert for 35 years mm-hmm. and uh i started listening to the radio because i didn't want to fall asleep back and forth to vegas from, mm. from havasu to vegas you know sometimes three four times a day right so i turned on the radio and uh a live was on and i turned it real low and you know for two and a half hours i listened and it was like it didn't dawn on me for three months that <laughs> You're listening to a radio when I couldn't even stand sound. Mm-hmm. Now I can go to church and I had one of the men come up to me and time, you know you dance? I go, no, I don't. And he goes, oh, no, you dance. <laughs> and it's like, you know, it, it's got to be in the Lord because I don't even realize it, you know. And that is such a blessing from where I come from mm-hmm. that to have that gift, to have mm-hmm. that sound. To get, I have not had a migraine in two years. Mm-hmm. I have not had a pain pill. No, I haven't wow. had morphine, I haven't had Vicodin, and mm. I haven't had any somas in two yeah. years. Oh, that's amazing. And I haven't had a headache. I've taken maybe a handful yeah. of uh, uh, an inflammatory yeah. when I had my yeah. teeth done, and that was it. And, yeah. Um, I, I want to let Jamie know that, mm. you know, my heart's with her right mm-hmm. now. She's in Mexico having yeah. some work done. and. Mm. 
you know, the Lord has got you in your in mm -hmm. His hands, honey, and yeah. I will see you when you get back. And you're a beautiful woman. You've helped me mm -hmm. in my walk. Mm -hmm. And uh, Amen. That's it. Yeah, that's we good. need it. Hey, John, uh, tell the people the the ways that they can get connected to this mm -hmm. program. It doesn't sure. always have to be by a phone call. We have right. so many different ways yeah, of do. electronics now. Yeah, the, yeah. The best way to get a hold of us is um, on the web at recoveryradiolhc.com. Um, that is our web page. We do have past episodes on there that you can actually stream and listen to. Um, and, and on there, you can also connect to us through uh, Facebook. We also have Twitter, and we also have Instagram pages. And like I said, the best way to get that is on uh, late, or on recoveryradiolhc.com, and that will link you to all the different resources. And we will be uh, launching here pretty soon um, YouTube as well. Amen. We just haven't. We got the site going. We just don't have anything loaded up there yet. Yes. Since we're a radio station, we don't really have video. <laughs> yes. But we will have some things we'll post up there as well. Not yet, anyway. Not, yeah, not yet, go. anyway. There you go. Yes, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll I don't know if anybody wants to see me anyway. I, is, you know, it's, I got a face made for radio. That's there perfect, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what David, uh, Pastor David says. Boy, you got the perfect face for radio. <laughs> Can feel the love. Yes. Tell them back at you. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, but again, um, That's it. give us a call today. Uh, you know, uh, we all have uh, so many different life issues and, and challenges and struggles, and, and hopefully we can uh, uh, help you or, uh, give you some, uh, some of our experience and guidance mm -hmm. to uh, direct you to the right place, right path, right, right mm -hmm. way yeah and uh change your life exactly i know it's happened in this room everyone mm -hmm. in this room is uh, is uh, uh radically changed yeah Amen. yeah and, and i like that mm -hmm. you know uh, it doesn't matter uh, right. where you've been mm -hmm. it just doesn't uh, none yeah. of that matters but we we tend to uh carry it wherever yes. we go we sure like do. the bag of garbage right sure no do. i'll be fine or we try and we try and move to a, a different location mm -hmm. and, and uh, new, new yeah. friends and everything else, yeah. but that bag of garbage stinks. Yep, it right? does. And we tuck it away. And, and you got to remember, when people oh. say they're fine, yeah. you know, that's an acronym. That's Feelings internalized, not expressed. That's, that's right. <laughs> so when somebody yes. says fine, that's yeah. what they're actually saying. Yeah. I'm internalizing yeah. everything you don't need to know. That's right. <laughs> Because it's mine. It's and mine. And I'm keeping it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, guys. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. 1-800-721-9313 and a local number, 928-855-9110. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of meetings mm -hmm. that you can go to. Mm -hmm. uh, we have direction for that. There's mm -hmm. a lot of... Uh, uh, places that you can get plugged in yeah uh, all over the all over the united states all over the world we yeah. heard from a a gentleman gentleman in taiwan mm -hmm. uh, that was in a rehab there struggling mm -hmm. and he uh, listened to the radio program mm -hmm. on some kind of electronic device yeah. and connected with us and uh uh, continues to listen so we're, oh, yeah. we're thankful for for you the listener mm -hmm. uh, so yeah we have a lot of people all over the world plugged in i know yeah. we even have some people in the uk yeah. they're Amen. they're plugged in on facebook with us so Amen. this is by yeah. no accident that you're no. hearing this mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah it's his plan not ours yeah, that's that's right. it. Uh, you know it, it it our meeting um here in havasu next thursday we uh, we mm -hmm. have a gentleman Mm -hmm. from kenya yeah who runs a celebrate recovery in, in kenya. kenya wow and he's going to be doing his testimony mm -hmm. so okay. you know it's all over the world recovery is all over the world and and here's the best part mm -hmm. god knows it mm -hmm. and he's everywhere and knows everything and he knows every resource and yeah. and uh, he's the the main resource yeah. and yeah. when you uh when That's you ask it. him to come into your life, your life changes. That's it. I, I promise you that. Mm -hmm. it, it completely That's always the changes. first step. It that is. That is definitely the first step. It really step. is. That's the biggest step. Because we're all sinners. And that's that's yeah. the first step to recovery is you got to realize that, you know, we are sinners. We yeah. we are far from God. And yeah. without his help, without his guidance, yeah, yeah we're not. He knows what you're going to do before you do it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And he's called each and every one of us. And you just got to open your ears and open your eyes and receive it. It's a free gift. Yeah. Take that you know? mess and make it a message. It's hard for some people to take a free gift. 
that's for sure. You know, I think you always got to work for it. I've got to do something for that. You just can't give it to me. I know. But I he was did. scared to, to start my journey. Yeah, and it's, it took years, you know, because yeah. the last thing I knew was the last thing I remembered was, oh well, I have ADHD and I can't understand the Bible. I've never understood the Bible no more. Mm. I understand the Bible more today than I ever did in my oh, yeah. entire life. It takes it takes the Holy Spirit um, living in you yes. to really get the Word. You know, it's, it's uh, you can you can study it and you can analyze it and you can do all that kind of stuff without the Holy Spirit. And you don't but have it to won't do make it, it won't make sense until you actually receive Christ Absolutely. and you have the Holy Spirit in you. And then it's suddenly like, oh, uh, this means so much yes. more now because you can completely understand what the Word is saying and what it's doing. It's that relationship. It reveals God reveals Himself to you through His Word, and you can understand exactly what He's trying to do and what He did. You know, everywhere from Genesis all the way to Revelation. And you never have no. to walk alone again. Mm -mm. Nope. That is that is so special because like yeah. you know I've been a loner all my life mm -hmm. and I never have to walk alone. Yep, exactly. Amen for that. You know, I recently got to uh, about a month ago uh, go to Israel. Mm -hmm. That's the second time I got to go there. Yeah, I'm jealous. And to uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, just to you know, I remember just sitting at the Sea of Galilee, mm -hmm. knowing that that Christ was all over that area yeah. in a synagogue that He was right there mm -hmm. in, and just uh, amazing adventure. But you know, God gives you the desires of your heart. That mm -hmm. was one. It took nine years to mm -hmm. get there, but it was a desire of my heart, and um, He knows the desire of your heart, and mm -hmm. it's not to be miserable, mm -hmm. and it, it you know, and it's not to commit suicide or, or mm -hmm. die. Yeah. Uh, if you allow him to come in, he will radically change you mm -hmm. and your thought process mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and the inner peace that comes with that, mm -hmm. even through, you know, the turmoil or hurricane or, mm -hmm. you know, the family mess and uh, and on and on. Um, it, it, listen, you don't have the power to change that anyways. Mm -hmm. you, you can't change that whole situation. Right. Uh, so turning it over to him is so freeing. It is right it it, is it's just so freeing, freeing because we don't have to like we God. don't have to spin mm -hmm. the universe and keep it going because everything wrap revolves around us mm -hmm. well it, it doesn't yeah <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't we can get caught up in our own stuff right. exactly and it can be awful awful yeah. heavy to, to uh, what a burden yeah oh, yes. to try and you know uh, try and take care of everything mm -hmm. and every family decision and every yeah. every situation at work and mm -hmm. and the stress of that load uh, I don't know about you, but I don't want to have it. Mm -hmm. No, uh, I don't want to have no. it. I ask for for His help and strength all the mm -hmm. time. I, I say, uh, yeah. you you gotta you gotta take care of this, God. Yeah. That's it. You know, for those of you listening for the first time, you might hear some words out there. You don't. You're not really like what What are they talking about? Like you'll hear us say the gospel, right? Mm -hmm. Gospel. What What does that mean? The gospel just means the good news. Mm -hmm. And you're wondering, okay, well, what's the good news? Right? So what's that all about? Well, the good news is that Jesus Christ came to this earth, born of a virgin. He preached his gospel, to pretty much talking about the Bible, the whole thing. He, he mentioned the Old Testament more than anything else. And he died for us, which is really hard for anybody to understand. But he took in no sin in his life at all and took the burden of all our sin on himself and was beaten, brutalized, hung on a cross and surrendered his soul to heaven. They didn't kill him. He surrendered it freely. And God actually turned his back on him at that time. If he said that on the cross, you remember he said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That was the time that he was actually separated from his father for the first time and only time in his life because he had so much sin on him that God cannot be in the presence of sin and he had to turn from him. That is just something to take. You just have to sit there and ponder that and think about that, that separation, that darkness, which is what some of us actually feel, that separation and that darkness without him in our life. But that's the good news. The good news, he did do that. He did surrender his life. But three days later, Three days later, he rose from the grave. Mm. He defeated death. He defeated Satan. And you put your faith in him. That's where the good news comes in. You turn your life over to Christ. You let him take the reins. Let him take control and give it all to him. That is what the good news is. 
Yeah. Because yeah. he is, he forgives you of those sins, your deepest, darkest secrets. He makes you white as snow. You know, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, makes you flawless. Mm -hmm. Now you're still going to have trouble, just like he said. It's not all unicorns and rainbows. Yeah, well, we live in, we live in the fallen world here. Yes, so. we are still in this fallen world. You're going to have trouble in this world, and you'll still have that trouble, and you still might have to pay the price for the sins you've done in this world. Um, but as far as it goes with God, and what he says is you are made white as snow. Your sins are forgiven. All your transgressions are forgiven, and you just turn it over to him and walk with him. And that's what we mean. If you, and if you still have questions and you still don't understand what the good news is or what the gospel is, give us a call. We will talk to you about it. We will fill in the holes, fill in the questions, any gaps we have there that you, you just don't understand exactly what's going on. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about it. We'd love to pray with you and help you in that prayer um, to giving your life over to Christ, to have that hope that there is something more that when we do finally pass away and we do leave this world, that there is a more glorious place to be, and that is with Jesus and our Father in heaven, and we continue on for eternity. We are so worried about this little bit of time we have here. You know, it's it's really small, our life. It is it's, short. It goes quick. Yes. And you're looking at this little tiny little thing, and we have eternity after this. And you got to wonder, okay, eternity after we pass, we can't even imagine how long that is, eternity. But where are you going to be? Where are you going to spend that? Is it going to be in glory? Is it going to be with Jesus? Is it going to be with God? Or is it going to be in the other place that's not so great? Which I won't mention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two choices. That's it. Yep, that's just it. two. Just two. Yours or his. That's it. So, so it, you know, mm -hmm. and that's the challenge. And we have free will. Uh huh. You know. Uh, yeah. So it he is. didn't. He didn't take that away from us. Just nope. right back in the beginning. Exactly. You know, when uh, Adam and Eve walked with God, he allowed mm -hmm. them uh, to mm -hmm. have free will and their choice. Their choice to mm -hmm. serve God. Their choice to mm -hmm. uh, walk with God and and be with Him. Yeah. Just like we do today. No, yeah. None of that's changed. Mm -mm. And look what that we, started. We still have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. Hey, um, we're beginning to wind down already. Uh, yeah. uh, Bill is pointing to the clock. It, it yeah. has gone by awful fast. We hope yeah. that somehow we've helped you or been able to uh, give you that uh, added uh, mm. information or influence to uh, to make a change in your life. The most mm -hmm. in, most important thing that that you can do. Uh, yeah. So, John, um, yeah. why don't we? Uh, uh, give a shout out to our sure, sponsors sure and, and thank them. Yeah, we'd like to uh, thank uh, so much for uh, Sunshine RV uh, sponsoring our show here. They're at 2995 Maricopa Avenue. Um, go ahead and reach out to those guys. Uh, they're there for you um, <clears throat> with experienced sales and service. We also have Ace Pest Control serving uh, the Havasu area for 20 years now. Uh, 928 Six eight zero zero nine eight eight is where you can get a hold of them, and finally, I saved this one for last because I'm getting hungry. Ohana Poke Bowl, <laughs> thirty two sixty nine Maricopa Avenue. They're down in the Bashes Shopping Center in the south side of Lake Havasu City, and they're bringing authentic Hawaiian Poke Bowl and Hawaiian foods to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, we thank you know, and, and and we thank the air team members and mm -hmm. and the people who who gave it in, in the Sherathon yes. uh, last week. You know, yeah. uh, we're so thankful for uh, you being obedient right. to you know. This is uh, funded by you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we don't have corporations or anything else that just throw money into this. It's mm -hmm. it's all um, by yeah. you, the it listener. Is. It's listener supported. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're so thankful for, right. for the support to yeah. be able to be on the air and do this. Uh, yeah. We're so thankful to you. Exactly. So um, we have a, a T-shirt winner. Okay. And, and, and it is D from Yuma. Hey, Thank D. you, D. We uh, we'll we'll get your information yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, from from Pat. She mm -hmm. will get a hold of you. And uh, mm -hmm. and we'll go from there and get you a T-shirt mm -hmm. or a hat from yeah. Recovery Radio, which is supplied uh, from Hilltop Church. Right. Yeah, that's great. So we're mm -hmm. we're so thankful for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, John, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you want to close us in prayer? Yes, sure thing. Dear Heavenly Father, do we just thank you again so much for this time um, and the ability to reach the 
the thousands and thousands of people over the airwaves. Uh, without you, we would never be able to do this. And it is all from your hand and your glory that you have given us this time to be able to reach people and bring them to your glory and that uh, give them an understanding of the free gift and what you have done for us, the sacrifice you made so that we could be with you, completely white as snow and washed free of our sin to be in your presence. Lord, again, I just thank you for this time. I thank you for the listeners. I thank you for the support and everything we have here at this station. You never pray. Amen. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. Uh, thanks, John, for everything. Uh, our engineer, Bill, producer, mm -hmm. Pat, Terry, Glow, mm -hmm. Kimmy, and Polly today, uh, yeah. and Mr. Tom. We're so thankful. Mm -hmm. It takes a whole team. Mm -hmm. And we're so thankful for everybody and their hard, hard mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. So we had a meeting last night, and you know what? It takes, um, it takes a lot of work, and mm -hmm. we're so thankful for everything you provide, God. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, I'm your host, Mike, and I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful week. And um, God bless you, and we'll see you next week on Recovery Radio. Mm -hmm. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Goodbye for now from Recovery Radio, where we have hope for you. God.